My name is Gabriela Simone Lorit Yuriana. I am 37 years old now, married and waiting my first child. I am from Brazil and currently I am adjunct professor in the microelectronics research unit at University of Oulu and I'm leading my own research group. I got my bachelor and master degrees in physics, conclude my doctoral studies in 2011 in Brazil. I came to Finland as a postdoc at the University of Oulu. I was able to come because of a foundation. During my studies in high school, uh, I really liked to study. I was this kind of, well, it's kind of a stereotype, but I was the nerd. We didn't hear much about being a scientist or being a researcher. I didn't even know that that was a possibility of profession. We heard a lot about lawyers and medical doctors, but we didn't hear much about science. It was my physics teacher in Brazil that told me that maybe I should consider to be a scientist. I was brave enough to visit the university and knock a professor's door and just ask like, hey, I'm considering to be a scientist. Can you tell me what you do in your daily life? And they share their researches and what they do. And that was it. When I found out that I could just discover new things, then I decided that that was my motivation. And I, I said, okay, I want to, to be a scientist. Physics was something I really enjoy most in high school. So I decided to go for physics. As I mentioned, I have physics as, as background, but during my master's studies, I was kind of bored of having only physics on the time. I started to have this wish that I would like to use what I know from the physics to another field and mix things a bit up. And that was the start of working in a very multidisciplinary field where I would mix science and technology and engineering and mathematics. When I came to Finland as a postdoc, I wanted really to be close to, to the medical field. I had this radical change from the physics institute to being in the hospital in the faculty of medicine. There was a lot for me to learn, to catch in another multidisciplinary field. That's the challenge, to find the common scientific language so they understand each other and they can build something together. After those two years, I decided that I want to go back more to the technological side. And I went back to work with sensors and nanomaterials and nanotechnology for, for electronics. But I was missing the, the application on the bio side. In 2015, I started to apply for my own funding, mixing up the things I learned. I'm currently working of using these nanomaterials and sensors that we can do to control how cells grow towards the field of tissue engineering and also biosensing. So trying to do some biosensors that can support clinical problems in the in the medicine. I think what motivates me most is the fact that I can do something different all the time. Research involves so fast nowadays with the technology we have. We are always moving forward. It might be your research it will not impact right now to people's life, but it's a seed that you plant. I also enjoy when I get young students working with me. See on then a bit of myself years back when I was so excited to start my scientific career. When I start this career, I had actually a 10 years, 15 years career plan. And now I'm here. I enjoyed the journey to get here, but I think I'm enjoying this moment so much that it's a bit tricky for me to see five years or 10 years from now. I think I want to continue enjoying the moment I am living. So I would say my plan would be that I'm still able to do what I do today. And especially when you reach this career point that you are leading a research group, you lose a bit of the fun part that is actually going the lab. So I hope that I can still for many years be able to enable research and seeing the, the ones that are my students today following their career path and then achieving also their goals. I think that's what I'm aiming to provide a good trainee and, and good resources for the youngs that are coming. I had the vision that to make a difference, you need to do something very big. I think with life and years passing by, I know that we can do a difference every day, not just in our profession, but the way you 
treat people, the way you are kind. I truly believe that times we make a difference every day, independent of the results we get. We are always moving forward for all the young girls that are going to see these videos. Follow what you make you happy because then it's always easier and more fulfilling when you do something that makes you motivated to go every day to work. I believe the human beings are so diverse and it's the diversity that makes the world interesting and, and better. It's not just about competing with men and trying to be better or I don't believe on that. I believe on the equality. I believe all of us has something very valuable to to contribute with the world. Whatever you are, girl or boy, younger, older, and from which country you come, I'm sure all of us have something to contribute in the world. So just follow your instincts and, and follow the way to make yourself happy.